drie, twee, één. This is a great, uh, great poster project, like showing what you can do when you combine robotics with the, the latest digital tools and the computing power that we have nowadays, which can make a huge change. You can look at complexity in a completely different way because it's robots working with on, on digital uh, data. Uh, you can you can go completely crazy with the design. You can uh, do whatever you want. Could have printed a, a standard bridge, but that wouldn't make sense at all, right? We're really looking at the balance between livability on the one hand uh, and uh, visitors and, and enterprise on the other hand. So we're looking at how to keep it livable for the people who are here. There are sensors placed inside, well, underneath the bridge, which will uh, document how many people pass it at any given moment. So that will help us about uh, to think about how people behave in, in the public space, but also how our bridges and our canals will wear down because of those people. So it gives us a lot of insight. This is a small breakthrough in the sense that people tend to underestimate what it means to have, let's say, an asset, a bridge, a bench or something else standing outside for, let's say, longer periods of time. Climatic conditions are often brutal. And even in the Netherlands, you know, it's like it's wet, it gets cold, it gets hot. With regular building materials, there's hundreds of years of collective knowledge on these properties is laid down in the building codes. But for this material, there was no code. It definitely shows the possibilities of what's to come, right? And uh, a more digital way of construction. <laughs>